We get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the Boston Red Sox. Here's Byron Buxton now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. In there, 0-1. For pitch, 7 o'clock. 1-1. One one. Wow. One one. Only the second pitch of the game tonight, and that's called a ball? This looks like it could be very good for the hitters tonight. Two and one now to the Twins leadoff man. Good night for baseball. 69 degrees here at first pitch. Count even at two and two. Here's the pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball, then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. Got it, got it. Ready now, J.D. Martinez. Martinez. In tight with the curveball, backed up on him a little there, and it's ball one. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. And that is through into right field for a single. Here's Nelson Cruz now. And Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. Man at first for him following the one out single. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Martinez leads off first with one away. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Uh, two two. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The two two pitch. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Inside, he misses ball four. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Garver. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Garver. Curveball bounces, and this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect. But if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. One and two to the Twins catcher. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Reined in. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in. Miguel Sano. The third baseman. Miguel. He's set. Here it comes. Runners at second and third with two gone. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Gonzalez is there. On to first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. And here's Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom. First. For the Red Sox, the designated the pitch. Okay. The wind up and the 0 1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throws in time, and that's out number one. 
So digging in now, Tommy Pham. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here it comes. One out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. And a ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. 0-1, here's the pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane, as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Mancini moving back. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Riding in, Trey Mancini. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Verdugo, he makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, C.J. Krohn. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hit in the air down the right field line. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So stepping in, Howie Kendrick. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Popped up. Vasquez is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Leading off. First offering on its way. The right fielder. Alex. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. The 2 1 home. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Correa stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit hard towards center. And the Red Sox have their first hit of the ball game. So here's Michael Chavis now. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A 1 1. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Now in the box, Carlos Correa. He'll start things out. Against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. From the stretch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. And this one's too far inside. Ball two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1. Oh. Well, you can see here, this has been a steady diet of off-speed pitches. And what has it gotten him? Not a whole lot as he's fallen behind in the count. 
three balls in one strike. Three and two, full count. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Digging in for his second at bat, Byron Buxton looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Here comes the first pitch. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Third inning, no score to this point. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one will track it down. He'll try again, one, two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Riding into the box, Nelson Cruz reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Swing and a miss on a ball inside, 0-1. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Two out with the man at first. Hit the other way out toward right field. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Swing and a soft liner. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. One gone here in the Boston third. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Skied into straightaway right. Mancini is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. First offering on its way. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Here's the pitch. Softly hit out to short. And Kendrick gives it a reach going by, but it's into center field for a base hit. In now, Jose Peraza. As he swings and lifts a pop-up out behind short, Correa is there, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Mitch Garver. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Around first, digging for two. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 
drilled right back up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And the run will score as the Twins grab the early 1-0 lead. The right fielder, number and here's the big right-handed power Ray. threat, Trey Mancini. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Now battle. So that'll bring up C.J. Crone. He grounds it sharply to third. Pedroia on to first, and they get them both. Here's Howie Kendrick, runner in scoring position with two gone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One run, four hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. In there, and it's even at one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Tommy Pham. He flew out in his last at bat. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. Good job not swinging at it. Fam with an even one and one count now. Pitch on the way. Nope. That's and it's two balls and two strikes now. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. You can't even put a good swing on it. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So striding forward now, Miguel Cabrera. Fly down in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Line toward the gap in left center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. The relay throw, and he'll make it back to first as the throw won't get him. The right fielder, number 99. At the plate, Alex Verdugo. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Mancini will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. First pitch on its way. In the dirt here. And a good idea to hang close at first as he'll make it back easily. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will be tagged out at the plate. So it remains. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Line to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go with a start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. And it's fouled away. Hits are now even at four apiece. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Verdugo waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So two are gone in the Twins' half of the fifth. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. 
Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And he will get there to make. Leading off the inning, Michael Chavis. Leading and off. they'll need him to we'll get go. something Leading going off. here. The third baseman. Michael. Now a fastball, a bit too Chavis. low here. It's ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you've got to let go on. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. The batter number nine. Good count. No way. John Carroll. Stepping in now, Marwin Gonzalez. Standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. And this one's in the dirt. Oh, he'll make it back to second, but that had danger written all over it. Now the one and one pitch. Fly ball to straightaway left. Martinez on the run. He's there and records the first down. Well, he gets back in time safe at second base. So striding in, Christian Vasquez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And there are two away now. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Skied into straightaway right. Mancini will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. So now to the plate, Mitch Garver. He'll take a breaking ball, then off the plate for ball one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And he falls oh, behind man. now, 2-0. Oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended. Hold that thought, though. This ball's hammered to deep center field. Back at the wall, and it's gone. Here's Miguel Sano. And Strasburg will get ahead of him here with strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. So here's Trey Mancini. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Now battle. The first Here's CJ Crone now. Swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Cabrera is there for it. Ready for another shot now. The Howie bat. Kendrick. He's the hitless in his two at bats so far. Kendrick. Hit out towards second. Pedroia to his right. He has it. Rota Cabrera for an inning ending double play. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jose Peraza. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. The designated hitter. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. That evens it up one and one. 
You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. Now with the play, oh, Tommy Pham. Oh, for two for him to this point. Tommy. Yeah. Fouled off. 0 oh, and one count, and the pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. No runs, five hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. First baseman Miguel Cabrera stands in as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. From the stretch. Line hard toward right center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Pham ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. Safe at the plate. And the deficit is down to only one now. At the plate now, Alex Verdugo lifted in the air out to center field. Buxton is there. Two gone. Digging in once again, Kevin Pillar. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A runner on first with two away. Hit the other way out toward right field. Mancini makes the catch for out number three. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Carlos Correa now. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. In there, strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. Another 0-2 coming. I got to count one and two. Correa, left field and carrying well. Gone to lead off the inning. So that will bring in Byron Buxton. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Ranging back is Pilar, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. Here's J.D. Martinez. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. The count is one and two. Ball and that's out. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Now that. Next will be the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. 1-0 and oh the count. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Pilar's there. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. The tag at third, and they got him. A double play, and very quickly here, the side... 
Leading off the inning, Michael Chavis. He's got to look to get something going here and even this game up. Third baseman, Michael. Hit down the third baseline. But this is foul for the first strike. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Down the line and fair. That's a hit. The batter number nine. Into the box now. Marwin Gonzalez. Yes, yeah, so he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And this catches the outside corner. Strike one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. The one two. Misses ball two. And that's the pitch they wanted him to punch out on. A slider down around the knees. That's a good job of holding off on that swing. And he got him. Now to the plate, Christian Vasquez. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton is there now, and he has it, two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that will bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Comes set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. The number four Minnesota hitter, Mitch Garver. He's two for three and looking for more here. Mitch Garver. Boy, this guy right here in that last AB. How about straightaway center field? He hits a bomb. And as a pitcher, you're trying to pitch to the big part of the ballpark. But a guy like this, if he has pop to hit it up to center field. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Gone to lead off the inning. Keith Hembry is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Got him. So coming to the plate, Trey Mancini. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. In now, C.J. Crone. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Crone. Curveball just misses, apparently. 1-0. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, and the catcher grabs it to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Jose Peraza. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one. Hitless to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Shin Su Chu will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch it to lead off the home half of the eighth. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. 
for the Red Sox. Into the box, Tommy Pham. They shall take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And he falls behind 0-2. 5-1 our score as we play the eighth. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Now back, first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. To the plate now, Miguel Cabrera as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. And he's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on-deck circle. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Check swing grounder to the right side. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Alex Verdugo. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. One ball, no strikes to count. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. And that'll score the run from third. And don't look now, but the lead's cut to two here. And he'll reach second now with one away. What better view? Number five. Kevin. Andrew Benintendi will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 16, Andrew Benintendi. Just a tick behind for a strike. Both teams right now with 11 hits in the ballgame. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Garver has it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Stepping up now, Michael Chavis. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. In the dirt here. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2. Two -two. Rounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Two out here and a runner at second. And he'll hurry back to second here as he was wise to not push it that time. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. The next twin up, Howie Kendrick. He'll be charged with trying to get on board, leading off the ninth. Howie Kendrick. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. Well, right back at him, and it hit him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Stepping in now, Carlos Correa. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. A ball and a strike. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. 
Correa in front. Three balls and a strike. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Liner toward right center. And that's in there, base hit. Kendrick is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to three. And now time is called, and the reliever is warm out there. Standing in now, Byron Buxton. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1 for 4 day. Line towards center field. Ben Intendi's got it, and there's one away. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Brandon Workman enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this one gets away. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Runner at second here with one man out. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. It bangs off the billboard and it's out of here. At the plate now, Nelson Cruz. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Popped up. Workman is under it near the mound. Two gone. At the plate, Mitch Garver. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold. Digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In the air to center field and deep back is the center fielder. Back he goes, but this is going to be a home run. In now, Christian now Vasquez. Yes, yeah. He'll take a look at his strike on the outside yes, corner. Yeah. It's 0-1. Duffy typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake-bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to attack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty B, he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. Into the box the now, Dustin 15. Pedroia. One run in man. and one gone so okay. far in this inning. Mitch You're Moreland right. will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Number 18, Mitch Moreland. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Here it comes. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. The 2-1 home. It's a slider that can't catch the outside. Shinsu Chu will follow here. He waits on deck. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. One out, nobody on. 
Bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old piece sack and climb the ladder. And he is out on the tag. 8-4 tonight. Minnesota get the win on the heels of four home runs.